Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this angular video tutorial, we will learn about the star ng if, how we can use it, what is that, everything about it. All right. So if you are a very beginner in the angular, then maybe you don't know about the star ng if. So first question is that what is it? So star ng if basically used to put the if else condition inside your HTML page directly. So this is your HTML page, and if you just want to put it directly if else condition, then you can do it with the star ng if and basically this is a directive in your angular right so we just call the uh, ng if directive basically so now let's see that how we can use it so first of all i'm just going to take a h2 tag and we will just apply a basic uh, if else condition here all right so let's say i have a text here like hi youtube like this all right so if I am just going to, uh, let's see first of all, is it visible? Yes, this is visible. So now if I'm just going to put a, a condition star ng if, and this will be a false, then this will be gonna need this will from here, like this. If I am just going to put here true, then it will be working fine, all right? So I hope you understand that how it's actually working. So we can just use here, uh, star ng if and we can just put here true and false value so let's take the same thing with a uh, normal property so let's take a property name is show me and by default this is true and if i am just going to apply it uh, show me then you can see that this is uh, working fine all right and let's just change the uh, value of the show me now this is hidden perfect so now let's see that how we can just put a if a condition with the else also all right so there is a two way to use the if and else condition one is you can just make only a ng template for the else block and i will i'm just going to show you the both of the both of the things and the second way is you can use the ng template for the if and, and the else block so first of all let's see that only ng template for else block so just use your ng template right and just close it like here and just make some h1 or h2 tag here like uh, else block like this all right now in the if condition you can just simply write here uh, first of all let's pu put the name of this uh, uh, ng if condition with the name of id so you can just put here else block right and now just simply write here uh, write it else and else block right and this will become inside the quotes actually so you can just use like this so if I'm just going to put here this value false here then you can see that we are able to see the else block right and if the value is true then we are able to see only hi YouTube like this this is working fine all right so now let's see that how we can just make the ng if uh, uh, the uh, ng template for the if block also so just write here if block like this and you can just use here uh, quotes and just use here then and with then you can just write here if block right so just write here if block now let's see now you can see that we are on the if block and even uh, after doing this you can just remove this content this is not able to work right now all right so this is working and uh, if i'm just going to f make it false again and this is working else condition so now let's say if you just want to match a string value then how you can match a string value also so for that uh, you just need to just ch uh, check some Let's say I have a title and I just want to check that if the title is YouTube, then it will just show the if block, otherwise the else block, right? So just we can check simply here, like title equal equal to YouTube in the single quotes. Don't forget it, right? So now let's check. Yeah, this is the that one. And if I'm just going to change is 
the Google then this condition will gonna false and we are able to see the else block even we can use the two things like if I'm just going to use here and uh, let's say this is the YouTube right and uh, if I'm just going to put here uh, let's say show me let's some other text also like name is uh, Anil then you can also check the two condition and 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 name is Just, just 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 give me a one moment like this you can also check like this right so now you are able to see the let me check yeah yeah actually we have to use the double equal to here and now you can see that the if block is fine here so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care